map of the United Kingdom, if you imagine it, if you're listening to us on DAB radio or by any other audio device, if you're actually watching the live stream, you can see for yourself. It's a story of Great Britain really cut in half by the Scottish cons uh, territory, which is now owned by the SNP, almost to the, almost to the exclusion of everybody else, whereas England, Wales... Uh, Northern Ireland, of course, is a, is a different story, but England and Wales is now very much uh, Boris Johnson's to do almost what he will with, because uh, most of the country has gone with the Conservative Party, very few. Uh, and all the talk beforehand of uh, the Labour Party surging back and taking back some of those blue constituencies and turning them Labour red just evaporated. Uh, the seat total, I can show you that. Uh, it's been on your screen if you've been watching a screen all night. But just let me remind you, this is where we're at right now as we wind up our programme, 355. So that 326 moment, which is the moment when a government can be formed and be confident of ruling for a few years, was passed an hour or so ago. 355 for the Conservatives, only 202 for Labour, um, which is slightly better than our, I think, our exit poll prediction. Predicted, but the Lib Dem story is a miserable one. The exit poll predicted 13. That was a gain of one. We've only got 10 on the chart. It may not rise much further. SNP will be happy. Nicola Sturgeon is a very, very happy leader uh, this morning. And no doubt be having super hot porridge for breakfast with her 48 seats already. And it could go over the 50. The Brexit party did nothing. And the Greens... Well, they were consistent. They got one last time and the time before, and they got one seat this time too.